name is Reese. I'm 10 years old. I live in Maynard, Texas. It's a small town right outside of Austin. And I like to play baseball and play Canstar Mechanic. I really like making games because you, you get to be really creative with it. Okay, so right now I'm logging into GameStar Mechanic. It's pretty much the only platform I make games on. You can have it be a story game, you can have it be a blasting game, you can have it be an easy game, a hard game. I mean, really, you can do almost anything. Graveyard Story is pretty good. It was my first hit game. So your goal in this one is you're this spooky monster thing that can transform into a werewolf. When it has a good story, it comes through to the player, just like when you're reading a storybook. In this one, you're stranded in this random world, and you're trying to get out. Your goal is to find out where you are and get back home safely. You have to collect all the points and survive. It's great that kids who have a natural affinity for wanting to make games get to make games. It's you know like giving them the tools to paint or write a book or make music. It's fantastic to allow them to express themselves in the pure art form. What's really interesting though is if they understand the broader context of how those mechanics can be used in other areas. So each time I don't want it to be exactly the same because then you could just toy with the pattern eventually. And then that way he's difficult to get past. I'd have to say that the problem solving skills that he gets out of this are so valuable across the board. Math, physics, all of these things involve taking a problem that might seem too difficult at first and then figuring out which parts of it can I do. I'm going to start with the parts that I can do and see if they give me clues to the next part. And designing games is a lot of that. In order to make level two just a little bit harder, maybe add some more enemies that shoot up here, or maybe have the people shoot faster, or maybe have people who are pacing back and forth. I have thought about the similarities and differences of baseball and video games. I think that I like games because they're a challenge, and I think I also like baseball because it's a challenge. And they're, they're challenging in different ways, but they make you think. They both make you think about where are you going to put this next enemy, where you need to be for the next play. And I really like that about both things. Sometimes I look at the comments and see what the people have said, and sometimes I go back to change the game so that people will think it's better. One real key attribute of GameStar Mechanic is the idea that you have a, an authentic audience, right? So in most classrooms, you're building stuff for your teacher who may or may not have time to read your essay that you wrote just because it's an essay. But GameStar Mechanic has a vibrant community where people are making games for real people, real audiences that have real demands and expectations. You have to think about, how is my audience going to perceive this? How are they going to perceive my message? What are they going to take away from it? And GameStar Mechanic has that really built in. And, and so that's really key for learning. and something we're not doing in our schools. For comments that say, like, this is terrible, make a better game next time, I don't take it personally. And actually, I kind of laugh at those comments because they don't help me make a better game because I don't know what to fix. But if there was a comment saying, I think that you need to have stairs up here so you can get up there and get this, then I would say, okay, now I know what to fix, and I would go in and fix it. For example, on a baseball field, a grounder can go right through your legs, and if the coach says, that was terrible, I, I don't know what to fix. But if he says, for example, keep your head down, keep your glove on the ground, and don't be afraid of the ball, Next time, I know what to fix, and there's more of a chance that I'm going to field it than if the coach had said, that's terrible. When I get good feedback, I feel like 
I can improve with that. I can make a better game and be a better game designer. Let's try this out. Feedback's really important to learning, we know. And one of the issues with schools that we have is that you generally have 20 kids going just through a teacher, right? And so you, uh, the teacher doesn't have enough time to get in and really dig in. Um, teachers want to, but they really don't have the time to dig in and give kids that kind of feedback. Um, when you have a really robust community, you actually have a million points of contact. They can actually jump in and give each other feedback that's very pointed, very much where they are, and is able to be useful for them to move forward. But it turns out that schools are kind of built to keep these things out. You know, we, our schools are very much built to keep these, you know, 20 or 30 people all the same age, all the same ability area, all the same geography in one room and not interacting. What's great about Game Star Mechanic is that it's trying to use um, the compelling idea of games and the, the, the will and, and inspiration to create to kind of burst out and have a, a very vibrant community where people are getting together from all walks of life around building games and studying how do you become a better game designer.